the Milwaukee County Sheriff, federal and state law enforcement, law enforcement officers, our friends, and most importantly, the surviving family members of officers killed in the line of duty, I'm honored to convene the 2021 Greater Milwaukee Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Ceremony. I would like to begin by thanking the members of the Greater Milwaukee Law Enforcement Memorial Committee. Their dedication and commitment is what makes this event possible, and without their service, we would not be here. I would also like to recognize the distinguished guests who have joined us today, including Wisconsin Attorney Josh Hall, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, United States Marshal for the Eastern District of Wisconsin, Anna Rosinski, Milwaukee County Executive David Crawley, Chief Judge for the 1st Judicial District, Mary Trigiano, Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm, and Honor Guard Captain Wayne Jensen from Milwaukee Police Post 415 of the American Legion. I would like to thank each of them, as well as all of my brothers and sisters in law enforcement, family members, and friends who have joined us to recognize and honor the commitment and sacrifice of our fallen officers. We gather as witnesses to hear words like courage, commitment, and dedication take on their true meaning and hardened reality for the families who have suffered losses. We gather to pay tribute to law enforcement officers who have died in the line of duty. The law enforcement officers who have died in the line of duty serve as a constant reminder of the dangers faced every day. Their compassion, integrity, and professionalism are examples for the rest of us to follow as we undertake the responsibility of protecting those that we serve. As a law enforcement family, we work hard to recognize, support, and protect the families of our fallen officers. And today, more than ever, we need to demonstrate our commitment to that promise. Will everyone please rise for the presentation of the national colors of the United States presented by the Combined Honor Guards of Milwaukee County Law Enforcement. Please remain standing for a performance of Honor Our Fallen by the Fire and Police Pipes and Drums, as well as the national anthem performed by United States Marshal for the Eastern District, Anna Rosinski. Still. 
Joining us today to invoke God's presence and continued blessing upon us is Chaplain George Papakristou from the Milwaukee Police Department. Chaplain, I call upon you for your invocation. Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose great power and eternal wisdom embraces the universe, we come before you today as a family. Almighty God, whose great power and eternal wisdom embraces the universe, we come before you today as a family united by a common bond to honor our brothers and sisters whom you have taken to a far greater place. Be with us as we gather to remember and honor these brave ministers of peace who always stood true with pride and integrity, who have laid down their lives in the performance of their duty. They gave their lives while working as guardians to protect our families, our homes, our communities, our way of life, a duty ordained by you to protect your flock as your appointed ministers of peace and justice. For the giving of their life, we offer our respect and gratitude to their memory and their families. Persons strong enough to answer the challenge are few. Help us to remember, support, and pray for their loved ones, the wives and husbands who will no longer feel the warmth of a simple hug at the end of the day, the children who will have no one to answer when they call out daddy, mommy, the parents who had to bury their own child. Help us to remember, support, and pray for their friends and co-workers, the ones who will never again see that quick smile as they enter the squad room or be reassured by hearing their voice on the radio telling them backup is on the way. Help us to remember, support, and pray for their communities, the neighborhoods which will have one less protector patrolling the streets, one less watchdog ready to answer the call day or night without regard for their own safety one less soldier from your army of guardians on this earth who now are with thee in eternal rest. May you bless this time of remembrance and may your spirit of love and peace be present and fill our hearts. Amen. Please be seated. Today's event is a continuation of an event proudly sponsored by the Milwaukee Police Department for over two decades. Their generosity in allowing all Milwaukee County law enforcement agencies to participate and share in this great memorial will always be valued. Joining us today is Acting Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman. Chief Norman? Greetings to our families and our fallen heroes, to our brothers and sisters who wear the badge, to our city and government leaders, and to our supportive community partners and residents. Thank you for coming out to support and show, provide loving memory to those who have given their lives in service to our communities. April 8, 1996. That was the first day I entered into the police academy. I was excited brand speaking new to the profession, went behind my ears looking forward to the day I would don the badge that identified me as a new guardian of our Milwaukee community. Then came that fateful day, September 7th, 1996. That day marked the end of watch for our fallen brother, Wendell and Tanner. As a new recruit in the academy, I was faced with a serious crossroad. Do I take this sad news and make my exit from this career that I worked for for a large part of my life? Or do I honor my brother's sacrifice and tro tro uh, hold true to the dedication he has shown to our city and organization? I am proud to say, after 25 years, I am grateful that I chose right and have shown Officer Tanner honor by staying true to the principles of our noble profession. I'm also proud to say the Market Police Department through the hard work and dedication by the Milwaukee Police Historical Society, has also shown him and other fallen department heroes like Officer Charles Arden, Officer Michael Mahowski, Officer Matt Matthew Rittner, shown them honor by showcasing their lives and work through a new and improved interactive fallen hero 
memorial display at our police academy. I invite each and every one of you to visit and help keep the memory alive of those who gave our community the ultimate sacrifice in service to our city. As we pay homage to our fallen heroes, I say to my fellow men and women of the badge, how do we collectively honor the sacrifice they have given to our respective communities? We can honor them by remaining steadfast as guardians of our community, to hold each other and ourselves accountable, to be humane in our treatment, not only to each other, but to the public that we serve, to take health and wellness seriously for yourself, but ensure our brothers and sisters do too. As we can see with the service today, life can be unfortunately way too short because of the profession that we choose to heed the call. Thus, we must make every effort to live and serve in the best manner possible, to bring the best version of ourselves to work and to home. Brothers and sisters of the badge, I thank you for your service. And to everyone in attendance, I thank you for supporting us. Please stay safe and healthy. Joining us today is the Sheriff of Milwaukee County, Ernell R. Lucas. Sheriff Lucas. Good afternoon to Attorney General Josh Call, County Executive Crowd. Mayor Tom Barrett, District Attorney John Chisholm, to all of my brothers and sisters in the Milwaukee County Law Enforcement Executive Group, families and friends, ladies and gentlemen, let me say that we take this day to honor the service and sacrifice of the fallen members of our law enforcement families whose end of watch came way too soon. We will remember, and the world will long remember, the honorable pursuits, the noble causes, and the humble sacrifices for which they live. They were the heirs to a lofty legacy whose concern for humanity was unsurpassed by any generation in our nation's history. Those of us who loved them and honor them today knew them as fathers and husbands, brothers and uncles, an aunt and sister. I, like many others assembled here today, knew some of them as colleagues and mentors and partners and friends. They knew life's struggles and they understood life's pain. Some witnessed more tragedy and suffering in their career than many witnessed in a lifetime. They saw life be so unkind and so unfair to some of our fellow citizens, but did not become bitter. We do not know the day, the hour, or the minute when the Son of Man will come, nor can we predict the future. But we all have faith in his word when he says, for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We can all aspire to live our lives helping each other by bringing joy where there is sorrow, sunshine where there has been no light, and love to conquer hate. We can show our concern for one another by treating everyone with dignity and respect. 
and we can keep fighting to make our world a better place so that when history looks back on our time here on earth, our bodies will not be with those souls, those cold and timid souls who neither know victory or defeat. This is how these heroes live. This is their legacy. Many of the world's ills are thrust upon law enforcement's shoulders. And not just because of who we are, but more importantly, because of what we are. Not because of the badge we wear, but because of the burdens we bear. And not because of how much we know, but because of how much we care. With each passing day, we struggle to understand the loss of our loved ones, that time really never seems to heal. But we need only to remember that they saw wrong and attempted to right it, ran to danger when others ran from it, and brought love into the marvelous light that still shines brightly upon us today. Thank you. May God bless their souls and all the men and women who serve in law enforcement. Thank you all very much. We are honored to have the Attorney General for the State of Wisconsin, Josh Paul, here with us today. Attorney General. Thank you. Um, thank you for organizing this event every year. Um, thank you to everybody who is here to recognize the sacrifice of so many brave officers. You know, public service is not an easy task. And public service in the face of danger is that much more difficult. And that's what our law enforcement officers confront day in and day out. We know that's true in normal circumstances, but it has been especially true this past year. When so many people were able to socially distance, to work remotely, to take steps to keep themselves safe, a lot of members of our law enforcement community didn't have that luxury. You can't socially distance an arrest. So officers had to put themselves and their lives in danger time and time again over the course of the last year to help keep our communities safe. Those of you who entered into law enforcement know that this is not a single person's entry into a profession. Your families are every bit a part of your being in law enforcement as you are. I can tell you that as the stepson of a police officer, as the son of a former prosecutor. Your family, as much as you, is part of this and is part of making the sacrifice that goes into serving our communities. We also need to recognize that what we have asked of our law enforcement officers has continued to expand over the decades. As social services have receded, we've had to call on law enforcement officers to step up in so many different capacities to answer the call when there's nobody else to answer it. And what I see as I travel around the state, as I talk to people around the state, is officers who save lives day in and day out. When somebody is overdosing and we need to administer Narcan, it is more often than not a law enforcement officer or another first responder who responds to the scene. When somebody is going through a mental health crisis and they need somebody to calm them down, it is often a law enforcement officer who is responding to the scene. When there is a dispute between two people that could produce gun violence, it is often law enforcement who we call, because when there is nobody else to answer the call, for so many people, it is law enforcement we call. Now that's not easy work, but it is critically important work. It's critically important to our families, to our communities, and to our state. By being part of public service, you and the family members who support you are living lives of real consequence, by saving lives by intervening in disputes, 
by making our communities more peaceful and safer. When we think of the officers who we have lost this week and next week, I will think of DCI Special Agent J. Val Kunis. I'll think of the funeral that I attended last year from a sheriff's deputy in Dean County who lost his life to COVID-19. We think of the lives we lost here in Milwaukee County and around the state. But we can look back at them as people who lived lives of consequence, as people who used their time on this earth to do good for their communities and to do good for others. And the best way I believe that we can honor that legacy and we can honor what they did is to carry on that legacy. The sheriff's deputy was a training deputy in Dane County. He worked to make sure that other officers were able to do their jobs to the best of their ability and to keep our community safe. And upholding the values that he taught people, learning from the lessons that colleagues taught us, and continuing to work to strengthen communities and continuing to live lives of consequence, that will help their legacies continue to live on for years and years to come. So it is a privilege to be here with you all today. I want to say thank you to all of you for the work that you do in your communities and around the state. And to the family members of those officers who've lost their lives, I want to say thank you. I want to say that I hope you know that all of the officers here and everybody else here stands behind you and that we wish you and your family nothing but the best. Uh, and again, thank you to everybody who's here. Thank you for having me. Speaking on behalf of the Milwaukee Police Association, the founders of today's ceremony, is their president, Officer Dale Borman. Officer Borman. Attorney General Josh Call, Sheriff Renault Lucas, Acting Chief Jeffrey Norman, other dignitaries and guests, but most of all, the men and women of law enforcement, good afternoon. It is a great honor to be here with you today as the president of the Milwaukee Police Association. As the president of the MPA, I represent the men and women, the rank and file of the Milwaukee Police Department. I am proud to be in this position to represent them, but I have to tell you, the past year has been difficult. The men and women who, day in and day out, go into work and serve the citizens of the city of Milwaukee deserve a lot of credit. These men and women dealt with COVID-19. They developed COVID-19 symptoms. These men and women also dealt with the protesting and the rioting that went on in the city. These men and women have dealt with a lot, but they came into work each and every day and gave the citizens their all. They have remained professional and with that, I want to thank them all. There are people out there that support each and every one of you. Keep your heads up and know that the people out there have your back. I have your back and I will always support you and I will always be there for you. Prior to 2018, the last police officer with the city of Milwaukee that was killed in the line of duty occurred while I was in the academy. Officer Wendell and Tanner was killed September of 1996. May he continue to rest in peace. The Milwaukee Police Department then went 22 years without an officer killed in the line of duty. And that's a very long time for a department of our size. But in 2018, the Milwaukee Police Department was devastated by two officers killed in the line of duty. On June 7th, 2018, Chucky e. Irvine was killed. It was a day that nobody could ever imagine. And just when you thought the department was feeling better, Mike Mahowski was killed July 25th, 2018, 48 days later. We lost two brothers that should not have died, but only God knows why. It was their time to be taken from us and to serve with God. Both of these fine officers are watching down over us and protecting each of us every day. 
Please continue to protect us and watch us as we perform our duties as law enforcement officers. 196 days later, Matt Rittner was killed on February 6, 2019. In less than one year, we lost three of our finest officers. Milwaukee and the surrounding departments suffered again. Again, why did this happen? I don't know. Again, only God knows why. But we miss all three of these officers, our brothers, each and every day. On June 18, 2019, Officer Ku Hur was off duty driving home from a shift at work. He approached West Capitol Drive in North 60th Street when he was hit by a drunk driver who went through a red light. Unfortunately, Officer Hur uh, was killed. His family misses him dearly, and we all miss him too. And on September 18, 2019, Officer Mark Lenz died from a traumatic brain injury. Officer Dow Memorial Page in the state of Wisconsin lists Officer Lentz's death as in the line of duty. I'm glad Lentz saved, uh, lived his life for this job. He always, always had a smile on his face. He would have been proud to know that his life mattered and that Officer Dow Memorial Page in the state of Wisconsin are recognizing him. Today we recognize Milwaukee Police Officer Wendelin Tanner. Officer Tanner had a bright career ahead of him. He was an officer that fellow officers liked and respected. Unfortunately, I did not know Officer Tanner. Um, I was still going through the academy at the time that he was killed in the line of duty. But Officer Tanner was killed September 7, 1996. He was appointed to serve the citizens of Milwaukee and the Milwaukee Police Department on November 9th, 1992. He lived just short of four years on the job. Officer Tanner was shot and killed during a foot pursuit of a known felon and a parole violator that he and his partner were, were attempting to arrest. During the chase, the suspect fired several shots at the officers. At least one bullet struck Officer Tanner in the side between the panels of his vest. Officers Tanner, part, uh, Officer Tanner's partner was able to return fire and shot the suspect. Suspect fled the scene still, but was taken into custody after officers followed the suspect's blood trail. Officer Tanner left behind an unborn daughter, an, um, un, the unborn daughter's mother, his mother, and other family members. My heart hurts for each one of you. May Officer Tanner continue to rest in peace. The MPA stands with the families of all fallen officers. We always stand with the families. We will always remember the fallen officers. For we are family, and that is what family is supposed to do. It is not how these officers died that made them heroes. It is how they lived. Vivian Cross, who is a survivor, said the, those words. Vivian Cross cannot be more accurate. The officers I just talked about, along with the other officers that were killed in the line of duty across the country and the world, are just that. They are heroes. I will always remember those who were taken from us too soon. May God be with them and their families. My brothers and sisters, we must stand with the families of the fallen. And we, we must remember the fallen officers. While we must stand with the families of the fallen, we must also stand with those who go out each and every day and protect the citizens of their communities and with the co-workers that they serve. Thank you. To present our memorial wreaths, the surviving family members of our beloved fallen officers will join Honor Guard members with this honored task.
Vivian Demos and family in memoriam of Deputy Sheriff David Demos of the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, accompanied by Honor Guard member Deputy Michael Cook and Sheriff Ernell Lucas. Lenny Pickett, in memory of Wendelin Tanner of the Milwaukee Police Department, accompanied by Honor Guard member Officer Ronald Edward and Milwaukee Chief of Police Acting Jeffrey Norman. The Milwaukee Police Department is a member of the Milwaukee County Law Enforcement Executives Association. And in memory of Officer Michael Mahalski, Susan Mahalski will be presenting a wreath to Sergeant Dorian Ratliff and Chief Jeff Norman.
Captain. Captain Papa Cristo, I invite you to offer God's blessing and protection as we prepare to return to our lives of service. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being present at this tribute to the lives of these fallen heroes. Help each of us to honor the loss of these departed souls by living our lives with honor, humility, and by sharing your love with those in our midst. Help us to remember to use each day we have left in this earthly life to be a positive influence on everyone we meet. Help us to remember that our every word and action should be a fitting tribute to the sacrifice of these men and women whom we have honored today and to your glory. We also pray for those who continue to be in danger from violence, the officers who protect us day and night, the ones who will have to, again, stretch a little farther to keep the thin blue line from breaking. We give thanks for their constant courage and devotion to duty protecting our communities, for when faced with danger, they never pause. May they be strengthened for the tasks they face and supported by in the commitment they give that they may further the well-being of your people and enable our society to be loving, just, and at peace according to your will. When they feel discouragement, frustration, or despair, and when they begin to doubt the nobility of the mission because hearts are heavy, may they stop and listen to the voices, voices that rise up from this memorial and memorials throughout the land. If they listen, they will hear those departed souls saying, thank you for carrying on the traditions and honor of our profession. May they take comfort in your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. May our communities and guardians unite in fighting the hatred and violence being perpetuated in our land by the evil one. And to our fallen brothers, sisters, partners, and friends whose memories continue to guide us, we salute you. Rest in peace and know that you will never be forgotten. Well done, good and faithful servants. The Gospel of John tells us greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. This is my command 